competitions ranged from calypso to beautifications. Hailed as the most successful in recent times, Culture Minister Brenda Hood applauded all who contributed to the celebration's success, underscoring the importance of ensuring that young people understand the significance as opposed to the hype associated with February 7th. We need to get our young people involved so that they can understand the imp importance of independence, not only to, uh, to dress up in your colors on Independence Day, but what it means to you. We are, what, for the three years? And have we grown? Have we accomplished a lot? And not forgetting the persons who were there uh, for the three years ago to make it a reality, because without them, we would not be here today. Calypsonians who participated were awarded a parent's fees in the sum of $1,500. Prize monies also went to third place winner Christopher Antoine Squeezy, $4,000, and Edison Francis, fourth, with $2,000. Second and first place winners Alan G, $6,000, and winner Ritzman Kelly, $8,000, were awarded on the night of the competition. In the oil and competition, third place went to St. George Northwest, second, St. Andrew Southwest while St. John walked away with the title of Oil Dung Champion. For beautification, the community of Molinaire was third, Richmond Hill second, and Circular Drive first place. In the sporting category, St. Paul's government received the title of overall winner in the male category, and the female was won by Happy Hill Primary. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.